welcome to the July edition of The Daisy Chain. And today you are joining us on site at the Swift Science and Technology Center. And I am joined by Sam, our amazing project manager. <laughs> Sam, tell us, why did your company pick this building to build? Um, well, it's very exciting. We have a beautiful ceiling, as you can see behind us. Um, it's architecturally designed, so it's very interesting and different. Um, the beautiful curve behind us too is really exciting and um, structurally designed so that it's really cool to look at too. It's been a really exciting uh, building for us to see come to life. Is it tricky? It is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's very tricky. Um, there's a lot of things to manage, a lot of people to manage, trades, um, communications with you guys, with the architects, with the project managers on the client side. It's great. Now we are going to show some of our students around the building very, very soon. But before we go and do that, I'd love to ask a little bit about how you got into project management. Are there many females in your industry? Is it something you were always going to do? Um, well, I started out doing a degree in architecture and then transferred over to the double degree, which is in construction management. That's great. Well, mm. I have personally loved working with um, a female on this project <laughs> um, and enjoying all the pretty features that the building it's has beautiful. to offer as well. So should we go and show the students around? Absolutely. Let's do it. Are you ready to have your first look? Yes. All right, let's go. Wow, that is so cool. Oh my God, that is so so cool. cool. What does it remind you of? Flowers. Uh, birds, in a way. Yeah, yeah. birds. We've got lots of science labs down there. Oh, I love the windows. Yeah, so you can so see, look in there, that's a classroom. So the classrooms have these beautiful big views across everything. So then there'll be a big bench right across here, so you can stand in. Do some work while you look out at the view. You've got lab benches, and then there'll be glass tables and you see all these wires there that's where those cameras will come down. So what was the trickiest bit so far about building this building? Um, the trickiest bit probably this curved window here it's really difficult to um, get the degrees right Steve our site foreman has set out every one of those columns that you see to absolutely millimeter perfect so that was quite a lot of thought and process went into that behind the scenes. Nice. Did you get the windows on that angle? But there's a machine out there called a scissor lift um, and we put the people and the glass in there and then that lifts them up um, and then we can work from that machine to install them. How many science labs are in this building? Um, so there's five science labs. There's a chemistry, a biology, a physics, a common lab and a digi lab. What was your favourite part about building this structure? Um, I think my favourite part is the ceiling on the first floor. It was really tricky um, and we worked through it as a team to try and figure out how we were going to get it up there. Um, as you can see here, there's nowhere to really get machinery up there, so it was really hard. Um, and also how to get it so you can't see any of the fixings, any of the screws that are holding it up in the ceiling space. So that was, it was really tricky, but it was really, um, it was really great to see when it finally went up. So girls, what do you think your favourite part was of the building? Well, it's very different. It's like a whole another level. Like yeah, definitely. Two levels on an angle, really big, got an elevator, which is really cool. <laughs> um, and it's very, it's got lots of detail in it. Um, my favorite part would probably be these steps here because like you can walk up and down from them, you can sit here while you have your lecture and I think that's really cool. Um, I think I love the dual use of the labs, that they both work as classrooms and labs themselves and they're interchangeable as well. We hope you've enjoyed this sneak peek around our gorgeous new building and it's fitting that tonight is Futures Information Evening so if you'd like to learn more about where your studies can take you join us this evening at Mary Herring Hall. See you soon.